you can hear my show on Stitcher. Stitcher is radio on demand. Download the free app today. Listen anytime, anywhere. Stitcher is an award-winning free app that lets you listen to all your favorite shows, plus discover from 20,000 news, entertainment, and sports shows. Create custom playlists. Rate and review the GMR podcast on Stitcher. Available on iOS, Android, Nook, and iPad. And over 4 million car dashboards. On demand and on the go. No downloading, no thinking, no wasted memory. Dream your favorite podcast. Don't have Stitcher? Download it free today at Stitcher.com or in the App Store. Who is John? That's a question that quite a few people already know the answer to. And now it's time for you to find out who is John. Go to whoisjohn.com. That's W-H-O-I-S-Z-H-O-N. And you can watch the entire 20-episode series for free. It's the story of John, an alien, or is he, who crash-landed on Earth many, many years ago, who has now turned himself in to the authorities and claims he'll answer all of their questions. Or will he? Check it out. Whoisjohn.com W-H-O-I-S-Z-H O-N dot com. GMR. You're listening to the GMR Podcast. Support your locals. Starting with Space Smoke Shop. Located on 125 East Pennington Street, Tucson, Arizona. Space Smoke Shop features local glass, cheap tobacco, and any drink you can think of. We'll also have a hookah lounge and a venue. Like us on Facebook to keep up with shows, deals, and products. Every second and fourth Tuesday is Punk Rock Tuesday at Space Smoke Shop, 125 East Pennington Street, downtown Tucson, Arizona. Be sure and tell them you heard about it on the GMR podcast. Coming in 2014, the director's cut of Writing Frenzy. Frenzy, the hottest comic book on the market. Billy Shaw, the screenwriter assigned to write the Frenzy movie. One problem. Billy's totally blocked. Now, Billy travels to the comic book store that the creator of Frenzy died in in an attempt to inspire himself. Will it do the trick? With help from the store's owners, John and Pete, it just might. Writing Frenzy. It's about the process. The new comedy from Pondo Enterprises, coming in 2014. They should have uh, given him the ice bucket challenge right after that. Yeah, cover up his tears. I did think it was interesting that what what did they say happening? Uh, Donnie got offered a part on a oh, soap opera. The Young and the Restless, I think. Bold and the Beautiful. Was it Bold and the Beautiful? One of those. Fuck, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Now I'll we'll have to watch that fucking show, he's right? He's like, what? It's probably just a, a one-time thing. Oh, yeah, he's, he's Eric the actor. <laughs> but who doesn't love Donnie? Yeah. Exactly. They made Donnie cry. What a bunch of assholes. That's what I'm saying. No. Nope. That wasn't cool. Well, they want that money, but they got to realize only one of them's going to walk away with that money. Somebody's going to get third place and feel really jilted. Now, who's that going to be? Who's going to be third place walking out of there mm. incredibly pissed off? Hmm. Because whoever it is question. is not going to take it easy. They're going to be mad. I'm going to say Cody or Caleb, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. The way things are going now that it's a Brigade because, 2.0. Yeah. Oh, it's all disturbing. I'm not that happy about this uh, this recent turn of events. Watching all these guys who are on the same team. Makes and me wish there was a triple eviction, you know. 
Oh, hopefully we get rid of Frankie. He's the most annoying one in my in my opinion. I mean, way back when he won that uh, competition by himself, but after that, it's it's gone steadily downhill. An overwhelming no. You are not getting apple pie. <laughs> well, Hashtag what you did overwhelming yeah. no. <laughs> what you did wasn't a challenge. It was just something to do. While as everything else involved something that may mess with your game a little bit if you accept it. Yeah, if, if they'd gone with Donnie's plan, here's what Donnie should have done. He should have he should have freaking lied to him because that's what Frankie would have done, right? Oh, yeah. If they'd have given that note to Frankie, he would have totally lied and said, yeah, they want us to save Team America. If he were in, in, Frank, in uh, Donnie's spot on the block... I think they thought that uh, Donnie was making that up for a little bit there. Yeah. Oh, we make up our own thing? Yeah, right. This, he's just bullshitting us. <laughs> That's what I was reading. Hmm. But we saw how well the hiding the clothes went for them. That couldn't have gone better for them. That was an easy 5,000. Yeah. And the yeah. re end result was, hey, Zach's a saboteur. Yeah, Let's boot him Zach. right out of there. That was an easy way to get rid of Zach, for, sh for sure. So if they had done Save Donnie, maybe it would have, you know, helped their game ultimately. Well, he, been, he wouldn't have been so quick to put them on the block if he... It would have at least kept those two safe. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Whoever... I don't know. See, they couldn't sell Caleb on it, though. Isn't that what happened? Caleb and Frankie tried to flip the house at the last second to save Donnie. Yeah. But nobody else was going for it. Who's nobody else? Everybody else who voted the other three votes, I guess. Hmm. Oh, those people. Yeah. Yeah. Those people suck. I don't like any of these people. <laughs> They're all getting on my nerves at this point. I've been paying too much attention to them. I've let them into my brain. Hopefully it'll be fun watching them all turn on each other because there's nobody else left. I mean, the, the detonators is going to implode at some point because it's gonna it detonate. has to. going to detonate? Yes. Then the hitman will come in. Yeah, which one of these side alliances is going to take over? I'm making over. a gun gesture with my hand when I do that. What about Victoria. Oh, Nicole and Victoria, final two. See, that's why I think Victoria is going to win the whole thing, because Frankie's sister was on a TV show called Victorious, right? It's all tied <laughs> it's all together. Just tied it's to all karma. It's all, you can see it. It's, there's, a wee, there's a pattern there. It's very, very deep Big Brother shit. You got to think about it a lot. I did enjoy seeing, seeing Tim get a lot of time on the big brother this week that was crazy and you were out of town so of course so you I, didn't get to talk to him i didn't get to uh bug cbs while they were trying to film that little part which is probably for the best <laughs> asking him questions <laughs> hey what's what's that that's a camera take me with you here's yeah give, give him some headshots and <laughs> shit they're like hey next year come on And we finally got to see Cody's family's side of things. And they're all, yeah, it sounds like he does it to his sister, mm -hmm. right? Which is creepy. It's just one of these years of nothing's really happening, so let's pick on something so we can have something to talk about online. In years past, something like this could have been going on, but it would have been overshadowed by the antics of, uh, you know, you name it. Too bad Devin is not still in the game. And we all wanted him gone so much in the beginning. You didn't. You thought he should stay around. You, you had the foresight on that. But I was with the house guests going, yeah, we got to get this guy out of there. And now I just kind of wish they would have kept him around. I wish Joey were still there. Oh, what a different game that would have been. She, she could have, by this point, she might have figured out what's going on. Yeah. Or how the game works. And been able to do something. Who knows? We'll never know. They should put all 16 of them back in the house next year. 
but move the other eight in first this time. <laughs> read. And, and just see what happens if they can play out differently. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'd be like, no shit, all 16 again? Here we go. That would be crazy. <laughs> Big Brother redo. You got to give us credit for that if you do that, CBS. I'm, I, like, I'm sure I'm the first person to ever say something yeah. in such a scenario. Wow. It's GMR Podcast Show 87. 87. We're back. Last week was... Uh, Phoenix Comic Con 2013, which I listened to again. I, I enjoy that one. It's now you get to hear the whole journey all in one one thing. A lot of details that I had forgotten about that I have once again forgotten about, but I thought it was funny at the time. When did you listen to that? When you right after you cut it? Uh, when I got back from the the trip on Sunday, when I downloaded it. <laughs> nice yeah, It's long but it's fun And we were getting ready for Big Brother 15 At that point Oh well, let's not I Which started is, thinking about that <laughs> That's ancient it's gonna, history now. It's going to blur Mess up my brain for this year So I'm hoping the jury is pretty bitter About whatever And they vote Victoria as the winner, if she somehow makes it to the final, at, to the la to the end, that's what I'm saying. To yeah. the end. Yeah, because who is in the jury house now? Hayden, Jacosta, Donnie. Yeah. Zach. Zach. Zach is in the jury house. Well, that's a bitter jury house. They could be. Or will it be one of these? Like it usually is. You played the good game, even though I'm pissed off at you, I'm going to vote for you. You totally manipulated me the whole year and made me look like an idiot. Lied to me every chance you got. Made me, made me uh, start fights with my best friends, right? With people, start, start shit with people. You made me fucking act like an asshole. Because I was trying to defend myself from your fucking lies and your manipulations. So, yeah, I'm going to give you half a million dollars. I'd be like, fuck that. What they need to do one year is, is, is just flip the whole thing. And then, what do you mean? The people who are getting kicked out first are actually going into another house. Where they compete for... Where their com the real game is happening. Oh, no. <laughs> and the pe the person who wins in the first house actually doesn't win anything because it's kind of like, oh, you were you were such an asshole by the way you played this game to kick everybody out. You don't win anything, and actually, probably the first person kicked out is the uh, half a million winner. Something like that going on in the other house. I'm not I don't know all the details yet, but I'm working it out. Yeah, that sounds interesting. You get maybe you get kicked out to a house that's right next to the the other house. Yeah, and nobody and, knows. And nobody about knows it. who's who's actually playing the real game. Who would win in the second house, though? How would you determine that? It's almost like uh, the second chance house, where the whole. Another game of Big Brother is going. You get, and, you get kicked out and, of that house into a third house? Well, they, that would be a few years down the line, but I would think the winner of the second house there's, is there's actually like, the like winner of the half houses a million. All together. Yeah. 18 people, 18 houses. Well, that's right? if you want to keep it going year round. And you just keep cycling them through the house. You go from this house this to that house. This one guy has been to. Until you're just alone in the house. You're just in one house all by yourself. Wow. Everybody's in their own house. And then the real game begins, whatever the <laughs> fuck that is. <laughs> you hear about this show, uh, what is it? Oh, it's like Big Brother. It's uh, a year-long thing. I can tell by your non-response. No, I don't know. You have no idea what I'm talking about. But I know Gary Busey's on Celebrity Big Brother UK that just started. What? Are we watching this? Well, we're already like two weeks behind on it. It's only, and how many episodes do, do they do a week? 
over there. Oh, I don't know, but I have a feeling that even if I watch from the beginning, I'd still be lost. Hmm. Like we could give it a try. Utopia. Look that up. Utop- Utopia. It's it's like Big Brother on on steroids. I was gonna say on wheels. On wheels. That's that's better. Steroids is. <laughs> We're moving the house around, and they don't know. That'd be crazy. It's right. an upcoming, an upcoming, premiering uh, next week. What? What? Tell me all no, about it's it. It's from the creators of Big Brother. Wow. John DeMole, right? Uh, Fifteen what? men and women placed in isolation, filmed twenty-four hours a day for a year. They must figure out their own society. There'll be online streaming, and every month three pioneers will be nominated and could be sent back to everyday life. Wow. So this seems like a big brother over a long... I don't know. I don't know. That might be a bit much for me to commit to a year-long thing. Maybe I'll just keep checking in every now and then on it and seeing what's going on. But we we could attempt Which? the... Uh, Cause I saw I'm like Gary Busey on any kind of Big Brother. This could oh, be amusing, be even if I don't know what's it's going Gary on. Gary Busey. So. I saw some the other night. I saw Hider in the House. Oh, that's a classic. I saw most of it. <laughs> How did you see that? It was on one of those fucking channels. Wow, like, oh, they're digging up all sorts. This of channel weird called shit. Escape. <laughs> it's like forty, forty. Three or forty something point four. Wow. Hider in the house. I'd almost forgotten about that one. That's cre- that's when we discovered how creepy Gary Busey was, right? <laughs> Before that he seemed like a, a decent dude. But then he he was a little too natural as the hider in the house. That's kinda like Big Brother. Maybe that's why they got him in there. Can you imagine that? Oh. Gary's in the cl- just. What, what are you doing, Gary? <laughs> He's already used to this idea. Hot. Yeah, just being in the fucking little room, watching, fucking, doing his own thing, man. Playing with your shit when you're asleep and at work. Wow. They were showing Looker as well <laughs> the other night. That's. But, I really don't want to see it if it's going to be all Edited censored. Television. Greatest American Hero reboot in the works. Oh, I heard about that. What? Well, I guess it was only a matter of time. Is it going to be a movie or a, a series or what? Probably a movie. No, coming back to the air. From the creators of the 21 Jump Street reboot. Well, that That was funny, so you never know. Let's see how far into Celebrity Big Brother UK 2014 they are. Utopia. I don't know about all of that. What ch- what stations that on what channel? Fox. Crazy. They are 11 episodes in to Celebrity Big Brother, so not not too far. It's Celebrity behind. Big Brother. Yeah. So they're all celebrities? Not necessarily. And some of the people they're calling celebrities, we might be like, who are you? Well, because, because we don't live in the... Yeah. Because that's what we were uh, watching a, a little bit of last year. With was, Screech? Yeah, with Screech. Yeah. So that's right. I, I, I had no idea what the fuck was going on <laughs> as far as the game or anything. Which I kind of wish, I don't know, I know too much about Big Brother, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it drives me crazy. Start from number one on this and see what happens here. Dun, 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 dun. That'll be interesting. Gary fucking Busey. <laughs> it isn't like they, they'll probably explain the rules, unless there's a rule, rule change. Rule. Yeah, because they probably figure anybody who's watching this is uh, used to the show by now. Wow. So there's only seven of them left in there. 
So, wow. So that means everybody is going to be competing in these vetoes from now on. Yeah. And no more have-nots. No more have-nots? Well, that sucks. This was the last week of the have-not. And you said Frankie fucking lied about it? About, uh... They were trying to figure out who's going to be the volunteers for the last have-nots. And, of course, Derek takes it. Because that's, that's a smart move. You always volunteer to be a have-not. That, that gets you votes in the, in the end, apparently. I've seen it happen before. But... And Caleb said, everybody's done it at least twice, right? And Frankie didn't step forward, but he's only done it once. So wow. he got to go all summer with only being a have-not once. Yeah, it's so annoying the way he mugs for the camera now every time. Maybe I just didn't notice it before, or maybe it's just starting to get on my nerves. He's getting more uh, air time now because there's fewer people to focus on. And he's playing for charity. Don't forget that. So, game over, oh, yeah. man. Right? Yeah, I figured it out. Okay, they have a house that where everything is exactly the opposite. It's like Bizarro <laughs> House. Okay. But it's next door, and when you get kicked out, you go in there, and that's where the real game is. Okay. The person who wins in that house wins the money, while as the person who wins in the original house doesn't get shit. Okay, but how do they how do they decide who wins in the second house? Because it's just regular Big Brother going on in there. Yeah, but where do they get kicked out to? Oh, they get kicked out to a, a the, the real jury house and all that. So there there'd be three houses. I guess you could look at it that way. The jury house being the the third house. But it's like the first house is just the illusion house, you know. Expect the unexpected. And it's like, oh, people are trying to be such dickheads to, to hold on in there while it's the people they kicked out. Like, Donnie would be like, now you got a chance to play the real game now. All your allies that they kicked out are in here, so you're in good there. And a little bit of a producer manipulation. Well, that they could have like a a third prize or something for the last person in the in the first house. You know, well, you get five thousand dollars or something. Five thousand? <laughs> no, they'd have to give world's that world's biggest dickhead prize. Here, you, here you go. You'd have to give that person half a million too. I mean, they give a million away on Survivor. Right? Well, that's that's the twist. You know, they want to talk about most twisted summer ever, but would that person be like, "What the fuck? I thought I was playing." Well. We're, you know how we mix it up in here, you know. <coughs> like Julie never mentions that they're gonna win a half a million dollars, ever. And they all get, they, you might get suspicious, right? <laughs> yeah. That'd be fucked up, Marty. I'm not sure how they would do the sequester to get back in because once you're in the other house, you couldn't go back in to the other house because you could, you might spill the beans about that other house existing. So they there would have to be a fourth place to sequester them. The series of houses, yes, that we spoke of earlier. So there would be a fourth house. Maybe a fifth house as well. They could sell different feeds for different houses. If they get up to Big Brother 50, you know this shit's going to happen, so... When it's all just fart jokes and people getting hit in the nuts. <laughs> Big Brother Arizona. We have taken over the entire state. And it is now a game show. And now it's time for the after show. So Utopia. Don't you think you would go fucking nuts? Yeah. If it were, bi if it were Big Brother style? And it seems like it's going to be. You know, you, there, There's going to be live feeds you can subscribe to for it. And Try archiving all that. <laughs> 24 hours a day, four cameras. That's. Oh, it's. Yeah, because the feeds would probably only show. Because there's something like 197 cameras in the habitat. 
It sounds like Biosphere, the television show. Except hmm. they're not in a biosphere. And we all know what happened there, right? What did happen there? What was the end result of all that? Ah, chaos, I think. They were all trying to eat each other. Isn't that what happened? I don't know if it got that bad. You could look it up. What happened at Biosphere? That's what we're talking about today on the after show. What happened to the biosphere? Because when you think about it, the biosphere was an early form of Big Brother. It was. Just without cameras. There were probably cameras in there. There was that Biodome movie. Oh, yeah, with Pauly Shore? <laughs> yep. Classic. And what did he do? Smoked a lot of weed and stuff and said, buddy. Yeah. All yeah. the time. The way he says it. Yep. Sounds like Polly Shore. So you were watching the live feeds recently. What? Uh, last week. Not the live feeds, but the Big Brother After Dark. Yeah. So, you see anything interesting? Not really. Just seeing stuff before you get to see it on CBS. Like, they're all excited. Cody won that boxing thing. Yeah, that's where Donnie lost the game right there. Sitting around talking about TV shows and shit. He would have won the boxing thing. Victoria dealing with her wisdom teeth. Hmm. That must have been fun. Yeah. I do miss uh, Caleb talking about Amber. I find I find it was soothing. <laughs> was he still wearing her bunny slippers? As far as I know, yeah. He'll probably be evicted wearing those. GMR. 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 GMR.